Hi, this is Matt Tebow. I'm here to uh, show you uh, a variety of ways that we can record audio in stereo. And this is based on a recording session that happened on February 24th, 2014. We had about 50 students, and they uh, did some different songs and some singing. You can see this is a basic diagram. We arrayed everybody in a basic semicircle. And we had an Audio-Technica 825 mic, which is an XY uh, microphone configuration. It grabs two different cardioid patterns based on intensity. So we could actually turn that into mono, and we will, but it sounds a lot more interesting as stereo. Now, a very different kind of stereo configuration is a spaced pair. So we had a AT Audio-Technica 4041, about 10 feet apart. And what's interesting here is that when a voice sings to hear, it might take 5 milliseconds, and then it might take about you know, 18 milliseconds to get to the other mic. So there's a huge difference, and it's as if you actually spaced your ears out uh, 10 feet apart. How would the room sound? We will find out. We also had a, a, a Zoom H2 just stuck in the corner facing the wall with a, a stereo pattern, and that was to get the ambiance of the room to add a little natural reverb to the signal for either of these configurations. And then I was playing the guitar and we added a stereo technique called mid-side. So we had an SM57 with a cardioid pattern directly aimed. And then we had a figure eight microphone, a Cascade Fathead grabbing a figure eight pattern. So this is the basic map of the different uh, mics that we're going to be hearing. Let's turn over here and I'm going to be just showing you this in logic uh, Pro, although you could use any um, digital audio workstation because I'm just going to be turning up and down volume, but this one's easy for me to work with and it offers both um, the waveform display up top and then down here you can see um, the sliders and the faders and they're going to come and they're going to go. Uh, enough of me and my voice, let's, uh, let's start to listen. Well, let's just start with this. It sounds nice. That's actually a mono signal. I'm taking the XY um, 825 and I'm turning it into mono over here, you can see. So let's listen to the difference between the same signal as mono and then as stereo. And you can hear how wonderful stereo recording is. Here's mono. Here's stereo. Mono. Stereo. What a wonderful difference it is to listen in stereo. So let's now listen to the difference between the stereo XY pair and the stereo spaced pair, 10 feet apart. Here's XY. And, and now you can see here. much more spacious sound. Let's go back and forth. Here's spaced pair and then XY. Let's do it a couple more times. We'll start with the uh, XY. It's a much more exaggerated stereo. Now we also had, as I mentioned, the zoom giving just the room. There's a lot more sound of the reflection of the walls and the reverberation than there is the direct sound of the voices. And that's intentional. And we can mix these together. So let's take the spaced pair. And I'm going to slowly add in some of the reverberance of the room until you can hear that. Now, to my ears, I can hear that when the room comes in at a certain point, I go, ah, and then I could back it off a little bit and have some natural reverb. Let's try it again. Here we go. We 
could do the same thing with the 825. course where the space pair already has a lot of space in there and a lot of uh, phase interesting things happening uh, the zoom ambiance works a lot better with the 825 actually now we had another stereo pair as I mentioned we have a guitar mic directly uh, aimed at the guitar you can hear a little bit of the choir but it's it's a lot of guitar Now, the mid-side technique is not as successful today because the side is a lot of choir. So it's not as pure a mid-side technique as I could have if I recorded this in isolation, but listen to when I play the mono guitar and then add the side. You'll hear it. This is mono. Now here comes the stereo. back to mono. Now let's add the sides yeah. back in. For Pete Seeger, this land is your land. Now the fun of course comes when we mix these together. So I'm going to play around just a little bit and get a nice stereo signal for myself of a complete mix. I'm going to start with the 4041 spaced pair. Then I'm actually going to do a little bit of a trick. I'm going to take this uh, 825 and make it mono again. So I can actually have something dead center. So I'll have the spaced pair, but I'll fill in that center that you could see here. This uh, this little center where the, the spaced pair doesn't figure. So it'll end up being a spaced pair with a little bit of middle. I'm going to add in mostly direct guitar and then a little bit of ambiance and get my own mix. It's going to take me a minute. Enjoy. Here we go. started here with plain old mono. Now let's go back to where we are, stereo mix. I think you can hear how profound the differences are and how much is available when we record in stereo. Now, eventually, I'd want to perfect my stereo technique with probably just one of these pairs, either the space pair or the XY, maybe add a room mic and then have a spot mic for the piano or guitar that was accompanying. But you get a sense of how uh, the artistry, after we're done the performance, that's available through mixing, mastering, etc., etc. And this, of course, is only the beginning because... We could add reverb, we could add equalization, we could add um, compression, all the kinds of things that happen in a standard mix uh, after, in the post-production phase, uh, all the creative and interesting artistic work that can happen. So uh, hopefully you come away inspired from this to play around yourself and start to see and imagine and enjoy the possibilities of making music through recording techniques to mediate your musical experiences into existence in, in interesting ways. Um, I hope you enjoy.